is a new programming language for AI developers that has a potential to become 35,000 times faster than Python. That's what we're going to learn about in this video. Mojo is a new programming language, especially targeting AI developers. Even though this looks like the pitch, but it almost looks like it's a general purpose programming language. But Mojo is not something that you have to learn completely different because it's building on top of Python. So Mojo combines the usability of Python with the performance of C, unlocking unparalleled programmability of AI hardware and extensibility of AI models. Let's break it down. First of all, a lot of people complain about Python being slow. Uh, C, C developers, assembly level programmers, C++ developers, if you go talk to them, one of the things that they would always say is Python is slow. And there are a lot of reasons why Python is slow. But if you want to work on that, traditionally, you would have to write C or C++ and some other programming language or that is low level to the machine. But what Mojo is trying to do here is it's trying to use the knowledge that people have with Python and also the usability and uh, combine it with the performance of C. If you remember anything from the past, there was another language that promised the same thing that was called Julia. Now, keeping Julia aside, uh, Mojo seems to be an exciting project, primarily because it's not it's not some random developer uh, or a you know, group of people trying to develop. It is coming from the creator of Swift. So the Swift programming language is key to develop a lot of iOS and these days Mac OS applications. So you know how good Swift is, you know how good that entire ecosystem is. So if you trust that ecosystem, probably Mojo could be actually a big deal. Now Mojo and Python are not very different. This is something that I already mentioned. So how does it look like? If you look at this code, this is a softmax Python code. So softmax is a function that is usually used in deep neural network at the end of the deep neural network. So if you go to the softmax function, and then if you click this file like here, I am going to show you the uh, Mojo version. Click this and then you can see how the change is. The change is almost the same. Like if you see the softmax function, it has not changed a lot for us, like you can see. But also you might have noticed few things. It has got struct, it has got types. These are few things that people have always complained about Python. So not very easy to write production level code in Python without actually you know messing up something. And that something probably could be overcome with type programming, type setting, and that is exactly what Mojo is doing inbuilt within the language, not as an add-on. So now what is the point? point here. So write everything in one language. Instead of writing something in C++ or CUDA, which is quite important for you to leverage NVIDIA GPUs for especially for AI programming, you can write everything in Python and scale all the way down till the machine level. And uh, thanks to Mojo because you can now have a connection with the low level hardware. And uh, that's possible because of Mojo. Now certain advantages and features of Mojo. One, you've got types just like I mentioned. You've got types. So everything here has a type and uh, that helps you write more robust code, code that doesn't fail only in production, but also you can capture the errors. You've got abstractions and uh, you can see struct. Um, if you are from the C world, you would probably be very familiar with struct. So you can create struct, uh, which is something that you can do with Mojo. There are a lot of other advantages as well. And uh, one of the main advantages of Mojo is the performance. Mojo helps you unlock Python's full performance by uh, leveraging the hardware, including multiple cores, vector units, and accelerator units. That means that uh, if you have got, let's say, GPU, you can still take full advantage of GPU. So that's what they've mentioned here, achieve performance on par with C++ and CUDA without any complexity. So you don't have to worry about how to write CUDA, Mojo takes care of it for you. A very simple example, how Mojo leverages something called MLIR. MLIR stands for multi-level intermediate representation. So this is, uh, I'm just showing you, this is from uh, LLVM, which is also created by the same person who created Swift. Now, if you can see this, Python um, runs a single threaded execution. And one of the reasons why it is slow is because, you know, you can see that it's a single threaded execution executes one by one. But on the other hand, Mojo can take advantage of multiple cores even within the course, like parallel processing, and you can see how um, it does. And that's where the benchmark comes from. So if you compare four different languages, Python, PyPy, 
C++, Scalar C++, Mojo, if you see the execution time and Python is a benchmark, Mojo can give you up to 35,000 speed, up to 35,000 speed up. And the algorithm that they use here is Mandelbrot algorithm. And the machine that they use to reproduce, uh, produce this result is on AWS, they used an Intel Xeon machine. But even though, like let's say you don't get 35,000 times benefit, even anything before that is also completely amazing because a lot of people these days are trying to optimize one thing that's speed because you want AI inference and the AI algorithm training and everything to be faster and good. So the interoperability is something that a lot of people would love because you don't want to create something completely different. I think that's where something that Julia was doing because it was an entirely different ecosystem and entirely different world altogether. But Mojo tries to let you access the Python ecosystem, which means let's say you want to build a, a plot, a matplotlib plot, you can actually use Mojo for that. And uh, while you are using Mojo, you can also access pro packages like NumPy, matplotlib, in just like the general way how you would use Python. And um, you can upgrade your existing code with Mojo, uh, any part of the stack, any part of the model, you can update it. And if you want to access Mojo, you need to sign up for the access here, click this, and then you will be taken to a form and that form you have to fill in to get access to Mojo. One of the things if you had not noticed, I would like to tell you that Mojo lets you create files with any extension. For example, you can see make plot dot fire, make, um, let me show you file name dot fire and uh, here softmax dot pi, but when you go into Mojo, softmax dot fire, that means it's, it's actually a cool way to show off that you can create files with any extension and then you can in, in open it in Mojo and then run it. So if you are interested in Mojo, go ahead, request access. You'll be given access to their playground where you can play with programming language Mojo. And again, it actually comes out as a, as a product from a credible resource, a credible figure from the industry who's the creator of the Swift. So let's see what happens with this new programming language from modular that is especially targeting AI developers with certain things that Python has been missing and a lot of industry uh, endorsement has uh, they've got. One of the thing is, one of the person that I respect a lot in this domain is uh, Jeremy Howard. So you can see Jeremy Howard has actually written a really good blog post explaining why not Python, why Mojo and what he, Jeremy felt about Mojo and all these things. I link the blog post in the YouTube description as well so you can check it out. And if you have not subscribed to the channel, I would highly appreciate if you can subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.